The Internet of Things will connect tens of billions of new physical devices that could be exploited. Artificial intelligence will enable computers to make autonomous decisions about data and physical systems and potentially disrupt labor markets. Russia and China continue to have the most sophisticated cyber programs. China continues cyber espionage against the United States. Whether China's commitment of last September moderates its economic espionage remains to be seen. Turning to weapons of mass destruction, North Korea continues to conduct test activities of concern to the United States. On Saturday evening, Pyongyang conducted a satellite launch and subsequently claimed that the satellite was successfully placed in orbit. Additionally, last month, North Korea carried out its fourth nuclear test, claiming it was a hydrogen bomb, but the yield was too low for it to have been a successful test of a staged thermonuclear device. Pyongyang continues to produce fissile material and develop a submarine launch ballistic missile. It is also committed to developing a long-range nuclear-armed missile that's capable of posing a direct threat to the United States, although the system has not been flight tested. I think the Russians fundamentally are uh, paranoid about, uh, about NATO. Uh, they're greatly concerned about uh, being contained and, uh, of course, very, very concerned about uh, missile defense, which would serve to neuter what is their, the essence of their claim to great power status, which is their, their nuclear arsenal.